It's been 40, 40, 42 years since we had, uh, had a basketball championship in our county. Our county's always thought of uh, football, football, football. And, um, you know, to finally have a chance, I, I told the kids all day, I feel good about it. I feel good about this. Um, we got down by two. We, again, we didn't panic. We, we made a couple defensive plays, got a steal, tied up. Um, Simmons went to the foul line and hit all the foul shots. Uh, we worked on that before we left. Um, uh, uh, again, an unbelievable win. Um, the week didn't start out good for us on Tuesday. Again, I did not have one media <coughs> talk to me. I, I took that to heart. I, I took that as being disrespectful. I told our kids that. Uh, we, came, we came out uh, the night before, played hard. Again, we didn't panic. Um, my little story, my son, uh, after we won, before we went to the regionals, he said, you need to see this little kid from Baltimore. I said, Satchel, I'm not worrying about that kid right now. When we win the regionals, we'll look at it. Then, he, then Saturday morning, I got up. He says, you need to look at the kid from Baltimore now. So I looked at the kid. I said, he can play. He can play. But um, we didn't change a thing. We came out, we doubled what we were supposed to do. We made him work. I know he was tired at the end. Um, I think he gave, he got, what, 20? 20, 27. 27. All right, not 43, like he's been getting. Um, I got to take my hands off to our, to our kids. We, we worked on defense from day one. And defense won the game tonight. It wasn't our offense. It was our defense again. Jimmy, talk about how you mentioned it early on about the smack. That since 1972, since the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference has won a state title, was tonight, uh, you guys, the way you won it? Because here lately, in the last five years, Lackey was within a fourth quarter collapse winning. Stone the same way against teams that uh, everyone thought. Was I, I, really, I didn't even think about that. We had the 10-point lead. I knew they wanted to make a run. Um, so, as I said, we called a timeout. Be patient. We had a little problem with the press. Uh, we turned the balls over, turned the ball over, um, which we know they don't turn the ball over in those situations because we practice it so much. But our kids were tired a little bit, and then they just sucked it up and, and got the job done. Um, this is huge for our community. Again, this school is only four years old. We graduate uh, two guys that are starters, seniors, um, and we got guys that are coming back. We got a buttload of, of guys on the JV level that's much bigger than we got now. Um, the task now is going to be everyone's coming out after us now. Uh, we're not a uh, well-kept secret anymore. 27-0, a perfect season in the state championship. It doesn't get any, good, any better than that. Coach, what were you able to do today that no other team from the state of Maryland has been able to do in beating Patterson this year? I think our pressure up top, where we call it bread and butter, we had the two guys, uh, we, we uh, take the guy off the ball, and that guy off the ball, responsibility is doubling the point guard. Um, and also, if someone leaks out or diagonal out, he's responsible for that. Um, we weren't really good at that at the beginning of the season. Um, we got better as the season went on. Again, we just wore them down. Uh, that's what I, I, you know, I think we wore them down at the end. Now, you talk a little bit about what you said at the end of the game. You said that uh, teams win games without <coughs> players. We're a team, and I'm speechless right now, for real. We just worked hard all season to, to be here and to get here, and it took all of us. Everybody might have played, but the bench was behind us, supporting us, and we're a team, and it took all of a good team to put still in the Jarrell and Trey, you guys were called on to take on this YouTube sensation, Mr. Carr, especially in up and down press type defense you play. Talk about that and how y'all were really able to frustrate him in the first half. He was like something like uh, one of, of 12 or one of 11 in the field. And um, even though he got his points, it was only him doing a lot of the scoring in the second half. Yeah, um, we, we just, we just we knew we had each other's back. If, if he was to get past one of us, we knew another uh, teammate of ours would be right there to help us. And, and we just knew that we had to, we had to contain him. We, we had to contain him, and we had to play solid D. And uh, we had good help side, and we played as a team on defense. So, so I mean, we played as a team. How about you, Trey? What are your thoughts on that? Having his, having him as a defense on the side. You know, I knew he was fast, and I knew he was smaller than me, so I just had to give him a step off. And, and I know I had my uh, help side coming, so I just had to play him hard. And if he got fast, I knew I had help, so just play him as hard as I could. Um. One thing I need to say, uh, everybody was, you know, I got so many uh, calls about how to stop uh, this kid. 
Um, we're, we, we have a team. We got five guys, six guys, seven guys, eight guys that can come in any time. And we really were concentrated on stopping two. They had to stop <coughs> five. I look at the stats, and I mean, we got three guys in double figures. One at nine. Um, I didn't know Naeem had a double double. I mean, that's unbelievable. He's only, he's only in the 10th grade. We've preached team and family all year. Um, every time we end up, we say family. And those, uh, our players believe that. Um, it's, this is a moment I will never, ever, ever forget. To win a state championship. I'm from Charles County. I'm from the player. I, I went to the player high school. I did that. I'm chasing the dream, too, when I was in high school. I chased the ones at Westlake. Um, got the opportunity to come to Noah Point in uh, <coughs> four years. I can't believe we have it. Um, I'm really proud of my seniors. Um, you know, they stuck with us. Um, you know, Devontae had to change his game a little bit um, with other guys coming in. And uh, he, he sacrificed a lot. But he knew the sacrifice would help us win. Uh, last year, everything went through him and Saquon. But this year, you know, we, we spread the wealth. Uh, when he was counted on, uh, he was there. Um, and, it, it, you know, he will be missed. You know, Simmons also. Simmons ran cross country for us this year. And I, I, that's a belief. I, if he didn't run cross country, I don't think he would be doing the things he's done this year. So he's my spokesman this year for the basketball team to run cross country again. Jerry, just talk about the medal of your team. I mean, you guys had a 14, 16 point lead. You guys kind of figured Patterson was going to make a run, and they did. And they had the like they had the momentum up to the last 90 seconds of the game. Just what you tell your kids. Well, you know. today before we left school, I always try to uh, tell them something personal about me, my life experiences. And I told them, you know, when I came to North Point, you know, uh, all the things I've been through and all the things that we had, at, difficulties at North Point building the program. And uh, I'm very personal with my kids, uh, players. Uh, Ten years ago, I wasn't like that. And uh, I always say, hey, work hard and good things will come to you. <coughs> um, my AD, Coach Johnson, has always says, hey, act like you've been there. You know, act like you've been there. Uh, you know, we are a family. We've had team dinners. We came up here to University of Maryland June, January the 4th or 5th. And I said, uh, the reason for me to bring him up here is to uh, say, hey, we could be playing on that floor for about two months. But then I found out, I had several players that had never been to a college basketball game before. And then I'm like, man, that was nice that we got an opportunity to do that. So uh, we got tough kids. I mean, we, we, we've been through, like I said, we 27 games in a row. I mean, we had a few games like that this year, and we came through. We practice these situations, so when they happen, um, it's no big deal. I knew we were going to come back. I knew we were going to get a score. I knew we were going to get a stop. You know, I didn't spaz out on the sideline. You know, uh, as my AD said, Coach Johnson said, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Um, and we were lucky enough to, uh, no, we earned this.